Welcome back to the protocol video series. Today we'll be going over S122, allergic reaction anaphylaxis for the adult patient. Over here on the BLS side, we'll ensure a patent airway, O2 saturation as needed, O2 and or ventilate as needed, most likely based off of the O2 saturation, tidal volume, respiratory rate. Remove the stinger or injection mechanism. May assist the patient to self-medicate own prescribed epinephrine auto-injector or MDI, that's a meter dose inhaler, one time only. Base hospital contact required prior to any repeat dose. If available and trained, which by the end of this program, you will be trained on using an epinephrine auto-injector, you have a standing order to administer epinephrine via auto-injector, 0.3 milligrams, one time. Any repeat doses need to go through a base hospital. Also, if you end up using this piece of equipment on your ambulance, you must provide a radio report to a base hospital. Then this little note here at the bottom, EMTs not yet trained in epinephrine auto-injections may assist the patient to self-medicate with patient's prescribed epinephrine auto-injector. By the end of this program, you will have a course completion certificate that states you have been trained in the use of an epinephrine auto-injector. Turning our attention to this component, I know it's on the ALS side, but this is something that we should talk about. The anaphylaxis criteria may include any of the following. For an unknown allergen exposure, skin and respiratory and or cardiovascular symptoms. Two, likely allergen exposure, for example, bee sting or peanut allergy. Two out of the four systems involved, either skin, GI, respiratory, or cardiovascular symptoms and then a confirmed known allergen exposure. Those are your anaphylaxis criteria. If any of those are met, we can consider this patient to be in anaphylaxis or at risk of developing an anaphylactic reaction and we should treat with epinephrine. Angioedema, they give you the definition here. So it's lip, tongue, facial swelling, difficulty swallowing, throat tightness, and a hoarse voice a very alarming sign and symptom, and potentially a threat to the ABCs and a reason why we might actually treat with epinephrine up in the ABCs section of your medical assessment. So this was the BLS protocol, S122 for allergic reaction. We will see you guys on the next protocol video.